What is up guys, Smosh Beans here and welcome back to Adventure Creator. Everyone really seemed to enjoy this series, so that is awesome. Thank you for your support and all your comments about what I should do in this episode. And today, we're going to be starting on some of those points. So last time I said that I'm going to build a little village here, which is what I'm going to start building today. It's probably going to take a while to build as villages take a lot of time. Firstly, I'm just going to lay out the village and where I'm going to put each house and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm doing is just laying out a path towards the village. And when building an adventure map, you want to make sure that the person you're building it for knows exactly where to go. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to place some trees alongside the edge of this path so that it's like very clear that this is the only way you can go. I was going to add in a signpost, of course, just saying village so that she knows this is the way the village is. Right, so the village is going to be down here and what people often make a mistake of when building villages is that they build them all on the same level and flat and all the same houses. Well, that's not really realistic, is it? So we're going to lay out our village now with loads of different houses on different levels and stuff like that. So here's a quick time lapse of that taking place. So there we go, we've got like a little village planned out, it might add more houses to it later. But yeah, now we're going to start building the houses and keep them sort of similar but also different at the same time. So there we go, we have like our first little village house there, it's quite quaint and nice. It's not decorated on the inside yet, but I'll do that afterwards as I start adding the characters in, but I'm happy that, I think that looks really cute. Got some nice walls around the garden. Now all we have to do is add in the rest of them. As you can see from the time lapse currently, this takes a long time to build. So here's house number two. Looking very fancy indeed. It's a bit of a different design as you can see here, although it maintains some of the sort of like same colours and stuff like that. Okay, so the village is starting to come along nicely now. We've got loads of different houses and styles in here. If you're building each house separately, then each house is going to look different. So, got to think about it for each one, and it takes me a long time as I'm a bit of a newbie builder. So another thing while building your town, you need to make sure you have different routes out of the town because if it's just all one way then it's not really a challenge. So I'm going to have a different route out that way and that way and then maybe another one that will split off that way somewhere. But this way as you can see there's a massive river here so we're going to need to build a bridge to go across this river. I've never really built a bridge before so hopefully this is up to standard. Okay, so the first part of the village is coming along nicely. If we head down at this path here, a nice little walk through the trees, we get to the village here. This is the first house and that's the second house which you've already seen. But we've got a few more houses now added in and also a bridge. So that's a way down there for someone to go. This here is going to have people in all these houses. This is kind of a cool one because it's kind of like down here, it's in there. All the houses are empty at the moment, I need to fill them up with people, which is something I'm going to start doing now. Okay, so we've added in our first two characters, so when Lizzie comes to the village, she has two options. She can go to Grumpy Gary, or she can go to Sally, or she can go to both. So let's start off by going to Grumpy Gary, and Grumpy Gary will say, what do you want? And you'll say, hey, I've lost my cat. Have you seen a cat at all today? To which Grumpy Gary responds, no, I have not. Now please get off my property. Jeez, Gary. Okay, calm down for someone with such a nice, lovely looking house. You really are grumpy. So instead, we can talk to Sally, who says, oh, hey, Lizzie. Nice to finally meet you. Better start than Grumpy Gary. Which she'll say, hey there, nice to meet you too. I don't suppose you've seen a cat wander by here. Sally says, hmm, I don't recall seeing a cat. Which Lizzie will say, what do you mean you didn't see a cat? Well, a strange looking man walked through here and he seemed to be making a cat noises. What did he look like? I only glanced at him when he ran by. Maybe someone else saw him. You should ask around. Now we want to send Lizzie a certain direction. So what we're going to do is going to have a person here who is going to say, no, I haven't seen a cat because he didn't go this way, this mystery person, who actually I think is going to be Ollie. Uh, and then we'll have someone here be like, oh yeah, I did see him. To which point she'll get to here. And she can ask someone here as well about him, seeing if they saw anything. So we find out that Ollie actually crossed the bridge. So Lizzie will come this way and bump into Ellie, who she'll say, hello, sweetie, how can I help? And Lizzie will go, have you seen a man run through here? He may have been making cat noises. To which Ellie will say, no, I haven't seen anyone matching that description. I've been outside all day, so I would have 
seen him if he had come this way. So Lizzie knows now that it's not this way. Now after Lizzie's dealt with Ellie and has come this way instead, she'll go into Joey Graceffa's house. And Joey will say, oh hey, lasagna. Which Lizzie will say, Joey, I didn't know you lived here. Yes, girl, I moved in last week. Isn't this place to die for? It is, but at the moment, things aren't too great. Oh no, what's up? It's Buddy, he's missing. Oh dear, can I help at all? Well, the only clue I have so far is that a man ran through the village making cat noises. Do you happen to see him? Oh, that must have been the man Wolf and Storm were barking at earlier. He was dressed very weirdly. I couldn't see his face as he was wearing a hooded cloak. He seemed to be in a hurry to get somewhere. He must have come this way then. Thanks, Joey. Anything for you, girl? And then we're going to have someone else here and here and here as well. But those characters are going to be some of you guys. This is the point where I ask you to leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username and what you want to say to Lizzie. You can kind of help out a little bit in telling her that he didn't go that way, but across the bridge instead. So let me know what you want to say and what your Minecraft username is so I can add your skin into the game down below and I will do that next episode. I'm gonna start uploading these episodes twice a week hopefully we're gonna do every Wednesday and every Sunday so next episode will be on Sunday before I end this episode guys I'm just gonna decorate the houses inside now this is the bit I really don't like to be honest with you but we're gonna get some beds place them in here and this is Grumpy Gary's house so Grumpy Gary doesn't have many things that he treasures as he just hates the world don't you grumpy gary he's got his very boring house with a gray lamp gray carpet cactus plant because it's grumpy gary although he does have a painting of sunflowers on a lovely day and that's about it because grumpy gary lives alone now sally on the other hand is lovely and very upbeat and has a really nice house she's a bright pink bed with a bright pink lamp she even plays the harp because she's just that cool just a nice little house overall little bungalow of course we've got to have a dog called wolf outside Duh. and we'll have a dog inside called storm as well oh dear i just placed an extra wolf back then now we've got to remember that joey is vegan so no food that comes from animals is honey vegan i can't remember if honey's vegan or not anyway we'll place that down there or is he just vegetarian or is he just not drink milk i can't remember but yeah, Joey's house looking very nice. And Ellie's house, only tiny. Ooh. But Ellie cares about her appearance a lot, so she's got a vanity desk here. But she also loves stuffed animals. A very little simple house in there. I hope you are enjoying this series, guys, as I'm really enjoying making it. I really like the support on the last one, and everyone really seemed to enjoy the idea of making an adventure map. But yes, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and one of those comments I've asked for, and I'll be back another time for another video. Goodbye.